Oh hi, I'd just like to give you a quick introduction to the ICSM website. Uh, I'm going to do go through the nuts and bolts of what goes on, what's available and what you can do online with ICSM. I think you'll find it interesting. OK, well, we're going to do a search on iPrint UK on the ICSM website. Uh, you need to, first of all, tick the terms and conditions, otherwise it won't let us go any further. Put my username and password in and log in. Here's the functions menu down the left hand side. What we're going to do is use the search feature. Uh, the IC, we've got a choice of either ICSM Safety Net Series Reports, which is the regular report that everybody would normally run, and we give you an option to pull an ICSM Equifax report. ICSM Equifax is the same report that's used by many of the financial institutions, the banks, etc., but you have to pay for that. It's a, a premium service. It's an extra extra payment. So let's have a look at iPrint UK. iPrint UK Limited. Search full gold report. There they are. iPrint UK. Top of the list. Now what we've got here are two boxes. The this is the company that it's asking us, is this the right company? It is, it's the company. This is the registered address. The registered address has been copied over into this box, uh, which is going to initiate a second search on the, against the ICSM database separately uh, uh, against the company name, the registered office and the registered address, also the telephone number. This is editable if you want to edit it, if for instance you want to monitor the trading address as opposed to the registered office. So we click Retrieve Report, we've got a choice of full gold, a summary, a summary is just, as it says, a summary of the report. doesn't make the slightest difference to us, it's personal preference, up to you. And, or alternatively, we've got the document, which is a visit straight to company's house, where the documents are filed, the original documents filed by the companies, not analysed, they're raw accounts. You can download the PDFs going back years of their raw accounts. You can look at the people involved in the company. This is as filed at company's house. Go back to the report. Click on retrieve report. And here we have the report. At the top here, this, many of you will recognise the fact that, uh, sadly, uh, people do credit reports after they've got a problem with their customer. Back to front, I know, but that's just the way of the world. So if you've got a problem with your customer, this is your opportunity to tell ICSM about it. Just a simple tick box exercise, bounce check, whatever it might be, the amount outstanding, when the last invoice was raised, anything else. And once you've filled that in, you just inform community. That's telling us, ICSM, the print industry and print and related industries about any problem that you might have with this company and it will go on to the ICSM specialist database. Now if we look at this company, iPrint UK, just scroll down the report, public record information, have they had any judgments? Yes indeed they have. Look at these, there's a few here. I would be a bit worried about this company. The courts, County Court Business Centre, the amounts that they were for, the dates that they were taken out. And we've got here mortgages and charges, other filings at company's house, you can, as we saw, link to company's house, credit ratings and risk scores, here we go, we've got <laughs> uh, zero rated, oh, there's a surprise, uh, you can check the guide if you wish, you can see the guide as to what they, what those scores mean, back to the report, there is a, a risk history here. We can go way back. Director's details. Again, you can link to Company's House to see if there are any more directorships involved with that individual. Uh, and then we start to go into the nuts and bolts of the report. Payment averages, payment breakdowns, balance sheet details for one, two, three, four, five, six years, going back six years. Very detailed report here. You can use the links at the side to 
quickly rush back up to the top. All these links here just take you into different parts of the report, shortcuts, payment behaviour. And once you've done a report on the website, all reports that you take are saved on the website. Either by you can view them either by date or by name. We'll have a look at what I've done recently. You can see there's a list of all the reports I've taken, hundreds of them. 2,182 to be precise. Here is the latest one, iPrint UK. You can go back and review that report as many times as you like. It stays exactly the same as when you bought it or, or took it. Uh, it's as if you bought the newspaper, stuck it in a drawer and it will stay in the system. That's that. That's the credit reporting.